project is called Signing. We were thinking about the ways people try to make contact. You know how we're constantly sending signs to one another in ways that are sometimes successful, sometimes not. But it's in that very reaching out, that desire to communicate, where we meet each other in our humanity. Live in Seattle, it was us really kind of setting a direction for the band, you know, stylistically. And, and I think this new record signing really pulls it all into focus, you know. It, it's, it lets us do all the things that we love musically. label with a great aesthetic and personally I'm glad this new project is in such good hands. share a love for contemporary pop music and funk and electronic things. I mean, you know, I grew up listening to Weather Report and Return to Forever along with Oscar Peterson and everything else. And uh, we're covering an Image and Heap tune uh, called Hide and Seek, you know, just beautiful. The original was this gorgeous acapella, you know, sort of contemporary choral thing. And we just transcribed it literally. There's some drum and bass stuff on there, uh, electronics, there's some straight ahead. Is there anything straight ahead? There's nothing straight ahead. There's nothing ahead straight there. ahead. Fantastic. Which is really interesting, yeah. yeah. But it really brings all of our all of our influences and, and different musical directions and loves all together in one kind of handy package.
this group, um, man, it's a fun group to work with. I'm glad that um, I'm a part of. With Keezer, we both started playing together with Christian McBride and the Christian McBride band, which was an uh, extremely fun um, situation. When I first moved to New York in 1998, I used to um, play with Joe at the Cave House with this group called the Wild Walkers, which was a fun experience. And um, we played and played for a couple, good couple of years. And he was a great friend back then and still is a great friend. We touched bases a few years later when I found out that he arranged one of the songs for Diane Reed's Bridges. And then um, we hooked back up and um, began to play more together. Joe and Jeff and I have been playing together as a group off and on since about 2005 uh, when we did our first record in Seattle. It was a band that started in a really cool way. It was, it was like a uh, uh, sort of a fly-in with no rehearsals and, and, and do a gig and the gig was amazing and, and, and it went over, it was really well received by the audience and it was a live record too. Sort of started a started a, a, a sort of a thing for all of us. It was really a great experience. These guys are are these guys are the best musicians in the world. Oh, nice. Joe is a is a, is a consummate band leader, and I you know I have tremendous respect for him. I've worked with him for a little over a decade now, I guess, off and on in various different kinds of groups, various different people. Jeff is probably the. I, I really truly believe he's he's one of the if not the best living jazz piano player. He's an absolute anomaly, and uh, I, I I'm always looking for any opportunity I can to spend time around him because he's one of the the people that just never fails to blow my mind. Uh, uh, when I when I hear him play and when I play with him, um, really high level of communication. So I, you know, I'm always looking for an opportunity to make music with them, uh, and, and it's it's really great for me to be able to bring them to my home here, where my studio is, and be able to actually record them here too. It's a lot of work, <laughs> and it's uh, it's a lot of responsibility for for me to have to learn this music, which is not easy, and and really make something of it and make it my own to the extent that I can, but also have to be responsible for making the record sound good and making sure that I do a good job of capturing these like world-class performances. Nothing on the record when you listen to it sounds hard. The music that's complicated doesn't sound complicated. The melodies are such that you walk away singing them. I think that some of the music is very simple. Our prime directive was to communicate, you know, some beauty and for folks to get it at a visceral level. So even the stuff that's hard doesn't sound hard. And the stuff that's not hard hopefully communicates in a really direct way. I think we just did a song in 13-8 and then we just did one in 7-8 and 4-2-3, some crazy things and all these crazy weird signatures. But once you hear the music, it doesn't sound like it's in an odd time. It sounds like just great melodies and grooves that's happening that you don't really necessarily realize that it's in an odd time. Because the music is so well written that it doesn't sound, you know, heady a lot of times, like a lot of jazz music can be, you know, real esoteric and extremely hard for no reason. This is like complicated, but simple at the same time, which is something that I really love. It's, it's not very often that I get to do a project where all of my musical interests and loves, you know, where I can get everything in and, and it's not only tolerated but sort of encouraged and, and necessary, you know? And uh, I, I love that feeling and I can actually say after 22 plus years of, of making records and being in the music business that 
This is probably one of the best albums I've ever done. I, I love it. I think it's just like, I listen to it and go, I, <laughs> I feel really proud of this record. I think it's amazing. And, and you know, I, I, I'm a pretty humble Midwestern guy, but man, <laughs> this record is really awesome. I kind of feel, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. I feel the same way. I, I feel that for me personally, it's the best record I've ever made. And um, wait till you hear it. And I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I, I feel like it, it's like all the influences that have affected me throughout my musical life are all present here. Yeah. All the jazz stuff, all the love of, of, of contemporary, a, a contemporary composition and rhythm and blues and and funk and everything that I grew up with mm -hmm. that we all share and love together. It's um, I'm just really, uh, it was just a beautiful ride, y'all beautiful ride. <laughs>